Success is failure's best friend by Jason. Our life is no different than this pen and piece of paper. When you're born, you're spotless and innocent, just like this piece of paper. And as time goes by, you have the power of this pen to write your own destiny. But sometimes, life finds it fun to tear you apart, pieces by pieces, making a failure of you, dumping you into the trash. And when you're there, it is difficult to find any form of motivation to push yourself towards success. Good evening, my fellow Toastmasters, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm here to tell you that success and failure, they are best friends. You can never have success without failure. And only through failure will you gain enough experiences to achieve success. There's this saying in Chinese, 失败乃成功之母. Failure is mother of all success. Let me share with you a story of a man we can all relate to. This man is Jack Ma. Just in case you do not know who Jack Ma is, he's currently the richest man in China, founder of Alibaba, Alipay, and Taobao. This self-made billionaire is special. He's unlike the other famous billionaires such as Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, and Mark Zuckerberg. Don't, call, don't quote me wrongly, these billionaires, they are special in their own rights. But did you realize there's something different about this three men from Jack Ma? These three billionaires, they proudly proclaimed that they achieved billionaire status without a degree and were all famous dropouts. But they were all dropouts of prestigious college. For example, Reed's College for Steve Jobs, Harvard University for both Mark Zuckerberg and Bill Gates. Whereas for Jack Ma, he is no dropout. He actually graduated with a degree in English from Hangzhou Normal University. How prestigious a university can be with a normal in his name? <laughs> Let me share with you his three life principles for success which made him who he is today. Number one, never give up. As cliche this may sound, it's impossible to never make a mistake in life. It is impossible to be 100% perfect. Did you know that before Jack Ma became a multi-billionaire, he was a multi-failure? He failed multiple times in school, four tries in the annual Chinese college entry exam before entering Hangzhou Normal University. After graduation, he applied for Harvard University 10 times. All got rejected. Then, when KFC first came into China, 24 people applied for the job. 23 people got it. He was the only one. He was also the only one that got rejected when applying to be a policeman. <laughs> Each failure he had, he was never out. He never stopped believing in himself. This is what made Jack Ma who he is today. A multi-billionaire, tech giant, who doesn't even know how to code. Number two, be grateful. In life, there will always be people trying to pull you down or there will be an event so devastating that again, torn you into pieces. But remember, these people and events, they are just minorities in your life. Think about it. How many times in your life do you get to fail, especially those in UOL, once a year? How many times in your life have you stepped on a dog poop? I'm sure not everybody here has stepped on dog poop before, right? What about today? I know not everybody here is having a great day, but hey, we are here in a Toastmasters Junior League competition. Today is and will be a good day because there are 10 beautiful people <laughs> presenting their beautiful speeches in front of you. <clears throat> Therefore, it is necessary that we focus on the good that's in our life. Forget about the small minorities in life. Think about the plentiful positives we have in life, just like Jack Ma. Despite multiple failures, he was never out. He continued to believe in himself. He surrounds his, himself with his close circles of friends and family who will go through with him through thick and thin, making sure to carry him up at his lowest and celebrate with him at his highest. I am no different. I'm grateful to have joined SIM Toastmasters Cup. Grateful to have met so many new friends. 
grateful to have participated in today's competition. But most importantly, I'm grateful to have my close friends here who will reach out their helping hand to me in my darkness. And of course, my loved one. Oh, right. <laughs> who will be there to celebrate with me when I am at my top. Oh, right. Therefore, it is necessary that we focus on the good that's happening in our life. Let's not think about the negativity, but instead immerse ourselves in the positive. And finally, on the last principle of success, have the courage to be the first. For example, <laughs> I may not be the best in tonight's competition. I may even be disqualified for standing on this table. <laughs> Last name, huh? Cool that. But I'm definitely the first to ever stand on this table oh. to present in front of a crowd in SIM. Count yourself lucky to have heard me speak because today this is my last speech of the year! Alright! Just remember this, when in doubt, when in pressure, be the first to change their mindset. Look up and not look down. Be the first to take on the challenge. Be the first to overcome those difficulties. Like Jack Ma always says, Look at challenges as opportunities because opportunities lies in challenges. Thank you. Woo!